Hi right, guys and gals, today I'm installing the Mudbusters OEM Fender Extension Kit. I'm going to install the fronts first because that's what I need uh, for tomorrow's ride and since it's getting dark, we're going to do that first. Uh, real quick, let's look at our instructions here for the front. Um, it's not very difficult. Um, you hold the fenders up and clamp them where they need to be. Then the, the um, then you need a 21 64th drill bit. I do not have that. I have what is the equivalent of a 20 64th. So we'll see if that works. And we will use extreme care and not the drill too deep. That's what she said. Um, and the two small holes near the bottom will use the self tapping screws. Um, color installation guide here um, looks very easy to follow um, we'll follow that as I do it see if there's anything different let's get it set up all right so just confirmed going to use the existing bottom two spots right here I pulled out the uh, existing little uh, rivet nut things uh, in their push pins to put uh, to start installing this other guy with so I'll use that to basically hold it, then align it up here and hold it with some uh, clamps and start. Uh, there's a few places you have to drill to put in uh, push pins. They include a whole bag of all that stuff. There's a few places up here for bolts, um, nuts, um, nuts and bolts. Um, that you install up here so I guess you can reach back there and reach those to make sure that kind of stays on and then down in this area there's two um, self-tapping screws that you put in so um, we'll get started on that and I'll also kind of talk about uh, why I went with this as we as we go on all right uh, I've already progressed but let me show you what I did for this bottom piece down here I used this clamp and attached it here, kind of a pain in the ass because it's not quite small enough as it needs to be, and attached it there and clamped it to hold the bottom. Then I had this other clamp half-assed on up here to hold the top. Uh, what I think I just said on the other part of the video to use, I was going to use the existing um, uh, spots right there, but that's not the case because this distance here is shorter than the distance uh, so it would be say here to somewhere right here and it doesn't line this up per their directions it says line this up on the edge which I did and then uh, so I did follow their instructions and I drilled another hole for here I haven't drilled this yet because I'm trying to figure out how to get my drill in there to do it but I went ahead and drilled this guy this guy this guy there's another one up here that's the, and then this guy, and those are the last of the, uh, these push pins. And then up under here, you see there's one, two, three, four, five, six somewhere. There's six nut and bolts up there that um, they, they include in their package as well. This bag of fun toys that you, that you install. And that'll be uh, uh, its own fun adventure. But uh, let me go ahead and get these this other done, and we'll um, see how that looks. This is the, I think it's the second tier. They have three different tiers of these mud flaps that are, you know, different sizes. They got one that's just massive. It's a, looks like, I mean, it would stick out probably over here. It's just massive. Um, if you do any kind of rock stuff or whatnot, it's just destined to get destroyed. I'm concerned with these. The same but they seem pretty tough so if they pop out i can i can deal with them you know um kind of like these oem fenders they've already i've already hit them and done fun stuff with them and they go back in pretty good so i got these you see this bottom part down here that's the part that's going to help you the most keep the mud out if you have the oems you know that has this little rubber um mud flap thing right there that gets caught the tire grabs it pulls it off um, this doesn't do a whole lot for you so this is a more permanent solution that that will hold up as opposed to that 
so that's why i got these guys and i got them on black friday so i got a little bit of a discount so that's that's helpful so let me get uh, the, these holes drilled and start the funness that's these guys up here i'm sure it'll be nighttime by the time we get to those which will make that the perfect time to do them all right so all these are done i was able to get the drill up in there and get that done uh all those are done now i'm going to work on these you have to use a quarter inch drill bit fits these holes to drill these in and then you have a nut uh, and bolt that you attach so you can kind of reach back here um, not sure the official size but uh, 11 millimeter fits it so I'm going to use that uh, that little wrench and try to finagle it back there as I put that on um, so fairly close to being done with these and let me the instructions tell you to start with the rivet nut these at the top and work your way down I did not I may do that on the next one but my biggest concern the reason why I got these is to make sure that this bottom um, was was down far enough and that it this was all aligned to block the mud that shoots up like this if you ride these if you've been in mud you know what I'm talking about this whole side here and even up up in the window there uh, will just get covered um, doesn't matter if you have 35 31s it, it, you know tire size doesn't matter uh, with that so I started at the bottom and worked my way up now I'm hoping eh, it's not too detrimental I don't think it will be but uh, that's that's why I did that if you see in instructions it says to go the other route so let me go ahead and put these others in and we'll see what this looks like all right so those are installed went as you would expect kind of a pain to get up inside there but not bad you just do it align your wrench on there rent rent tighten those down and you're good so all fine the only thing i have not done hole there and down here to install uh, self-tapping screws my kit did not come with these self-tapping screws not not sure if it's supposed to and the ones i have if you look at this distance here they're too long i almost just screwed up and put them through there so i need to try to find some that will work for that but other than that this side is done and looks looks good all right so it's obviously dark but the passenger side is done very similar let me talk about some issues i had on this side uh, all because of me basically the, the previous me um, this this whole side here has has had some tough love um, it has been up against some rocks it has been popped off because of rocks um, it's been over on that side sort of wasn't as easy as the other side. I kind of had to nurse part of this back to hell where I could uh, complete this uh, down there at the 
I do have the rears to install, but I'll be doing that uh, in the near future. I don't have time and don't really need to do it for tomorrow, the ride I'm doing tomorrow. Um, so they'll be done. They are a little more complicated. They have a lot more things you need to take off and put on and all that mess. But again, nothing too terribly difficult. Um, definitely recommend them. And I will let you know more after my ride tomorrow. I'm not going to close the video out until after my ride tomorrow so I can show what this looks like compared to what it did the last time I did this exact same ride. All right, guys, next day after the ride, and you can obviously see a difference that these guys made. Look at the door. Imagine where your head is and whatnot. Um, made a big difference in the amount of mud, dirt, mess that was kicked up. Definitely pleased with it. This has never been the case. This is always covered in mud. Um, there is a little bit up here. So it's not 100%. But they run big old 35s and, you know, drive a little aggressive. So I'm not saying this needs to just be a 100%. A but, I mean, it's a good 90 plus percent, and I'm super pleased with that. I do get a bunch kicked up from the back. I have not put those guys on yet. I am anxious to see because the back will kick up mud that will splash up this way, like on the rearview mirror there and whatnot. So, uh, it will be good to do a before and after as well with those to see how big a difference that makes. But now I get to spend time cleaning this. You know, that normally takes two to three business days. So good times ahead. But you know, that's why we do it. Rode the uh, trail we have that goes near the Mississippi River. Uh, it was really high so because of all the snow melt, I guess, and mess happening up north. So um, it was pretty interesting. I, I, I may post a little bit of that on the tail end of this but um all right thank you all for watching i do highly recommend these and um appreciate your time your patience with my rambling like subscribe all that crap thanks